Hey y'all, this is Anjali and in this video I am going to explain you how you would answer questions about your project in your Viva. So when you are prepared for your other questions for the Viva like questions related to Java, SQL and all, okay fine that is done. But a very important thing in Viva is your project file. So you have to submit two files in your practical. One is the project file and one is the record file. The record file has basic questions from Java screens, then you have some questions of SQL and you might have some questions about HTML. But that is all what you have normally done in the class. So nothing much is asked from that. If something is asked, that's related to the basic Java questions. Now the main thing is the project. The project file contains the description, the working, the coding of the working software which you make in your class 12th as part of your subject. The project could be anything like library management, school management, it could be something related to selling the products in a shop, it could be like task manager, it could be event manager, it could be for a gym, it can be anything, anything you can think of, we can make a project about that. The basic thing in a project is that we connect Java with a backend. Backend means a database management system. So we're going to enter the data in a Java screen and it's going to get saved in the database. And same way we're going to fetch the data from the database. So basic application is the application of JDBC in a project. So now when you go for the Viva, the examiner has your both the files. He has your record file. He has your project file with him. Now he opens your project file and the very first expected question is explain your project. Now explain your project. We explain our project in the project file as well like usually the second page of your file is the introduction to the project where you tell what your project is doing. So basically you need to explain this when the examiner asks you explain your project. So you should know what your project is about and you should answer it confidently. For example, this is a project for task management and we name it as task manager. Now, if the examiner asks me to explain my project, how would I explain it? I would say that my project is something which keeps track of the different tasks which we have to do. I can add a task. I can monitor its status. I can mark it as complete when it is done. And at any time, I can see a list of all the completed tasks or I can see the list of all incomplete tasks. So anything related to tasks can be done in my project. Right, so that's the explanation for this. If your project would be for some library management or something, so if it is for library management, I would say that my project is about library management, where I keep track of all the books in the library, I keep track of all the members of the library and which book is issued to which member on which date it was issued when it is getting returned so all that information we need to manage in a library management software if it is about student report card then you will explain that your project stores the marks of different students for different subjects it calculates the grades and show the result so what your project is doing that is what you have to explain when you are asked to explain your project right so this is how you explain your project after that you've explained your project okay now the very uh, obvious and a common question which can be asked is how many tables you have in the database so you have a database for the project and you should know that how many tables are there in that database like in this example if I show you the database view with the show tables command I get only two tables that's login and task detail so my this project has two tables one is login which stores the security information that is the username and password and we have a table named task detail which stores the details about the tasks excuse me so whatever your project may be you should know how many tables are there in your project like if it would have been library project I'll have a login table I'll have books table I have members table and I have a table where I store which book is issued to which member so that is issue table so we have four tables in library management but here in this example we have two tables so from project to project it would be different and you should know how many tables are there in your project then these are your screens these can also be called as frames 
So another question could be how many frames you have in your project or how many screens you have in your project. So how many frames you have in your project, it could be seven, eight, nine, whatever. So you should know how many screens you have in your project. In this project, I have seven screens, including the login screen, then a main screen, then a screen where I can add a task, a screen where I can modify the task details, a screen where I could see all the tasks, whether complete or incomplete, then a screen where I just uh, see completed tasks, a screen where I see only incomplete tasks. So those can be the various screens. So when examiner asks you how many screens you have in your project, you don't have to explain each and every screen. You just need to tell how many screens. So if it is asked how many screens are there, you say eight screens are there. Then in turn, if user asks, like, tell me a few screens, then only you will explain like you have so and so screens. Otherwise, just tell the count. That's enough. Now, that was about the basic thing. So basic three questions are explain your project. Second, how many tables are there in the database? Third, how many screens or frames you have in your project? So these are three general questions which can be asked for any project. Now, since the examiner has your file in his hands, he'll flip the pages and he can ask from any page, any line. So if he highlights this line, why have you written this? What is the purpose of this line? So this line is import java.sql.star. Since the project uses JDBC, Java Database Connectivity, we have classes like connection, driver manager, statement, result set. So all those classes need to be used here. And to use those classes, we need to include a package named SQL that is done with the help of line import java.sql.star. Similarly, this line is to import J option pane so that you can use the message dialog. We write J option pane dot show message dialog to show a message to the user. We can do that only if we have this import statement here on the top. Now, any other line can be highlighted like this line. What is the purpose of this line? This line is to set the driver to establish a connection. Now, what is a driver? A driver is a kind of uh, software which links the Java with my SQL. Then how can you make a connection? So this is the line which makes the connection. When we make a connection, we have to give three things in the get connection method. One is the database name. So my database name is task in this. Whatever you have after the slash, localhost slash, and the name you have over here is your database name. So the database name over here is task. The username is root. Here I don't have a password. So I've left the password field blank. But if you have a password, then that password should be here. So if it is asked, what are these things? So first is the database name. Second is the username. Third is the password. Fine. Then we create a statement. So anything can be asked this way. Any line, like what is the use of rs.next? You can say rs.next is used to move to the next record in the result set. What is the use of set visible true? So that the control should become visible. If we write set visible false, it will become invisible. So we want to make it visible, so it's true. Then what are these on the screen? So these are menus. Then examiner can ask, ask you like, how do you create menus? So how do I create menus? On the right hand side, we have palette in the NetBeans. And from that palette, there is an option called menu bar. So I can just click on that and drag it on the screen to get a menu bar and change the text over there. And for menu items, you can just double click on a menu item and code for it in its action performed subroutine or the function. So we write the code here. And this is the code to show one screen from another screen. So if I have to show the screen frame for add task, I need to create an object for that. Add, add task t is equal to new add task will create an object of that screen. And t dot set visible true will show that screen to the user. So that is how one screen can be opened with the help of code. So this one can be asked. Other than that, there are basic commands. So you can ask for any of the commands. The JDBC commands are repeated. So the same thing can be asked from any of the page you have. So this is how questions can be asked regarding your project. So whatever question is being asked, make sure you're confident once you answer your questions. You should have the knowledge about what your project does. 
you should not be blank because if you give a blank face, the examiner knows that you've not made the project, you've just taken the file from somewhere and you have submitted it. So be confident while answering the questions and have the basic knowledge of your project. In case of any other doubt regarding the project questions or any other Viva stuff or any other thing you have to ask, you can write down in the comment section below the video. I'll get back to you. Since the practicals are there, maybe few of you have it tomorrow, day after or after a couple of days. So you all would be having projects, but still if there is any last time person who is not having a project and if you need one, you can comment in the comment section below. I'll try to help you out. Thank you.